What is going on, guys? The of Rage Quit TV cast, and even more BlizzCon replays. We have Sness T spawning as the Teal Zerg in the, I guess this is, the 9 o'clock position, and Chef spawning as the Purple Zerg over in the 3 o'clock position. The map is Shattered Temple, and yes, close positions are possible, but they did not spawn close positions. It looks like every game that was on TV, they spawned close positions. Every game that wasn't, they didn't. I don't know why that is. And by TV, I just mean on stream. Maybe the players actually are playing in uh, the MLG versions. Because I don't see any specs or refs in this game. So it's always possible that uh, unless it was casted with people in the game with Blizzard making it, they were picking MLG. Uh, maybe not. Chat saying this was normal shattered. So close position possible? Nesty like, huh? Chef not realizing he is against a Korean who may not speak the best of English. Never mind, have fun, good luck. So, and ooh. Ooh, Nest T. That is an early pool, sir. I think he's going for an 8 pool, actually. That could be a 9 pool. Right around the what timing. And Chef, we'll see what you do. It looks like you're doing a 14 ha pool, I mean. If you do a 14 hash, that'd be bad. You're doing a 14 pool, and we'll see... Nesty even extracted tricks. He's at 11 out of 10 supply with an overlord now just completing. The pool finishes and almost three uh, lover immediate. Uh, uh, almost three lover immediate. Immediately ready. That's what I wanted to say. Wow, why was that so tough? But we have uh, another lover coming in. Will he build? More and more lings. Yes, he will. He is committing to this ling pressure. And, uh, Sheth could be in trouble. He isn't gonna see this. His overlord just missed it. And that is a lot of lings on the way to Sheth's base. And we'll see. Does Sheth immediately build a lot of lings? No! He builds a drone, and he is getting some lings. So he's getting two lings. But last I checked, six lings beats two lings. And, uh... We're about to have eight, actually, out of uh, Nesty, but he's got a long, long run. And Sheth, going to expand, is like, oh, good, 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 no, that's not good. And here we go, Nesty coming in, and Sheth pulling his drones off. He has more drones, and uh, Nesty just doing the little jukes, trying to pick off what he can, and Sheth just trying to stall time right now so he can get that lean count up, and Nesty... Picking off the lings slowly but surely. The queen is up. She is going to fall back to this middle line. And behind this we have Nesty droning up some. And now it looks like Nesty is falling back. And Mike and that one injured bailing back. And uh, pulls back safely. Going to this worker count. It is 16 to 16. Sheth going for a Baneling's Nest right now. He has the gas and, uh, let's see. 2384 mined and, uh, 2308. So, Sheth mining about 80 more gas than Nesty. Nesty, though, getting two queens. Gonna be able to place one queen at this ramp and say no Banelings allowed. Laying down that creep tumor. Bunch of Lings are coming up and, uh, they're not gonna be able to do anything. As the queen is there. And Sheth is going to commit to this Baneling Nest. Surprisingly, I thought he may cancel it as soon as he saw it. Maybe he thinks that's still just one queen. But placing the second queen up here, that pretty much stops all pressure. If the Lings try to take out the queen, the other queen will come and transfuse. And it's just like, oh man. I wasted a lot of units for nothing. But Sheth has a lot of Lings. So he may actually be able to take this out. The other queen is coming to help. And here we go, one Baneling coming in, and doesn't look like he took out that many lings. Nesty with some superb uh, reaction speed. Sheth with more and more lings. Nesty now building roaches. Nesty, two drones behind, but he has roaches. Nets. Sheth is still building Banelings and lings. Nesty now has speed and picks off a few lings. But he will have to be careful. He doesn't run into any random banelings. Just one ling is going to keep on chasing that ling. Four HP left. Is he going to get it at the turn? 
No, he isn't, but he turns around and keeps his guy alive. Sheth, though, with the expansion ahead of time. That one drone does go down. Two more Banelings are coming out. And Nesty has to micro... Nice, and no, he's just going to run away. And now Nesty is going to be expanding himself. And uh, since he has a few roaches out, he's going to be perfectly safe. He doesn't have to worry about his ramp being exploited because with six roaches, he is perfectly fine with a quick wall, especially with that one queen. And with all these roaches, his... Natural is also safe. And uh-oh, these Ling's running into Sheth's main. And they could pick off this queen very quickly. Is it going to go down? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it? Yes, it does. Just Bailey. Oh, maybe not just Bailey. Nesty still has a lot of Ling's. Is going to try to run out. There are a few Bailey's. Bailey's take out three of those Ling's. Those Ling's are going to get out. Well, the remainder are going to get out. But Nesty doesn't care that much about Lings. It's just to do this little pokes and prods, like picking off a queen. And he's going to come back in, actually. And, oh, man, he could pick off a drone. He's not going to get another queen. He's just going to go straight for the drones. May pick off one or two. Bailing stops that, and he hasn't even got one yet. One drone, one hit away. He's going to come back around and does pick off one. Let's go over to this worker count. It is 25 to 20. Nesty up 5 now, or an up 4 now. 5. What's he building? A Baneling's nest of his own. He is going to be going Roach Baneling. And he has had the queen advance. He killed one of those queens. And, uh, Shad's going to come in and see all of these Roaches back. He's like, oh man, do not want one bit. And Nesty may be in that Banelings Nest just to do, like, defensive Banelings. I don't know exactly what the Banelings Nest is for. Maybe he's going to go for all-out aggression and just try to stomp Sheth because he knows he has more roaches. And Sheth just massing Lings, I, maybe, to defend against this. And then a few Banelings come out and, like, uh-oh, you're screwed. See, a two Banelings being morphed back at home, I really think these are just defensive Banelings. Because Nesty may just be able to walk over Sheth with the roaches and lings he has. Doesn't need to add those banelings. That would be like adding icing to the cake. But Sheth now building six roaches of his own. So it looks like he will be able to defend this from Nesty. Lots of lings coming in. They're going to go behind these roaches and try to pick a few off. Banelings morphing. And uh, it's all going to come down to if Sheth can micro and avoid all the banelings. And uh-oh, Sheth attacking those. He has to be careful. Banelings are popping. And picking off a few of those Lings. And now Lings are coming from Nesty. Coming in. This looks like it could be the Doom push. That Spine Color going down almost immediately. There are plenty of virtues for Sheth, but plenty of Banelings for Nesty. And now it looks like Nesty is going to be victorious. Take off all of those roaches. Ling's just coming in. Sheth in a lot of trouble here. This one hatch may just fall. Ling's coming in. Those roaches are low on life. But uh, Sheth knows he is behind. There goes the GG.